the, the first page of the imaging process, mm -hmm. where it says, uh, the, the third box down, where it says viewing image, uh, I inserted uh, SIR less than VWR to tie it to the equation above it. And then at the one on the bottom, uh, uh, it has the expression SIR greater than VWR. Again, that is to tie it to the uh, 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 equation above it. Yeah, because those two don't have a distinction in figure seven as it is now. Right. So that, that simply ties the, uh, the image to the equation. So do they have, have you sent them an updated? Yeah, that went out, uh -huh. that went out uh, uh, late Wednesday afternoon. Okay, so we just got to make sure that the corrected figure seven. Steve, can you can you fax us the file patent? Uh, no, I can't find it. Doug, uh, again, Doug took care of this from. Does his secretary have a copy? Monday night on. Uh, I spoke with her, and um, you know she wasn't clear. Uh, you know, she wasn't able to find it. Do we have a file patent? sent me that he said he filed is missing the diagrams. So I have a, a final patent document missing. Why is Doug available? Yeah, has he got a cell phone or something? I don't know. Maybe, maybe I can, um, maybe I can help clarify this, uh, I mean, Ellie, you sound like you really upset at us. Uh, you know, I'm just, I'm not, I am not a person to get upset until I see that I spend a lot of hours going through this. Brian spends a lot of hours. We make all these global changes. And I've heard that a couple times already, but yeah. let me, let me try and explain a little bit about patent law. Okay. And maybe help everyone understand what has or has not happened. Okay, there's a lot of rhetoric being thrown out here, but there's, well, because we're blind. I don't think all of it has any. any I, I don't think all of it has a lot of basis in patent law. Well, that's good to hear. So let's hear that. Okay. I, sorry, I thought you in particular might be interested to hear that. Yeah, I, that's you know, I, I'm not sure that it has any comfort because maybe what you're saying is it's not an exact science, and so that you oh. you move along. And, but oh, I'm going to go well beyond that. Okay. All right. Um, does anyone have a copy of Claim One? Yeah. They can read off of. Yes. Z of 
the invention, does he claim a new patent for himself? Um, probably not. Inventorship typically follows with the conception of the invention. If somebody else figures out how it was done, generally speaking, that would... Well, I want to be very clear on this because Doug's thinking that. Now, I, I don't, you know, I, I don't even know if I'll, if then the next statement is correct or incorrect, but if a macro was created using the math that comes from the invention, where does it follow? Brian, I just asked him, you know, if I hired a mathematician to do the math, put all this into a thing, where does this follow? He says the invention, the inventor, etc. The, the guy who hired to do math wouldn't claim a new patent or a new invention which is confusing to me because Doug now, as of this morning, told me that you're planning on filing a separate patent as inventor of a macro that this spawns off the math entitled to this invention. So I'm confused, and I want to be very specific on this, of what our strategy is here on all of these peripheral pieces. Is that it is the federals realize that it's a bit of a gray issue in terms of who can see 